Hello folks, this is Aitana Jha from InspireToRise.com and today we have the TCL Pride smartphone here with us for a full unboxing and review of this device. The TCL brand name stands for The Creative Life and the model name is Pride. It's a new smartphone company and let us just see what they have to offer. So guys, let's begin. So let us just see what's inside the box and what's all written on the top of the box is that it's a 4G device, has an octa-core processor, 13 megapixel plus 8 megapixel combination, 5 inch full HD screen and hi-fi sound and Android OS and the specifications are written on the back also and this device retails for a price of 10599 which is subject to change in due course of time but still it will be around 10,000 to 11,000 mark so let us just unbox this whole thing so on a first glance the device does look quite well the back of the device features a slightly rugged finish as is seen over here it comes in two variants black as well as white so what else is inside the box let us just see what else is inside the box Inside the box you get the accessories for the TCL Pride and on opening them you find out them to be the headphones, the USB cable, this is the micro USB to USB cable and these are the headphones we had already unpacked them and we had already tested them quite some time ago and the overall build quality is decent and the sound also came out pretty decent from these headphones. Now let us just move forward. Apart from all this the power adapter wasn't there in our box but we hope that the final retail version does have the power adapter. The TCL Pride is pretty slick and has a circular home button which is actually just a symbol over there and apart from that it has the back button over here and the more options button over here which are all backlit and on the right hand side we have the power button as well as the volume rocker. The bottom houses the speaker as well as the micro USB port. And the top has the 3.5mm jack over here. The left hand side has nothing. And apart from that the 5 inch full HD display does look really nice in practice. And as is visible over here. The overall details etc have been paid attention to. And it comes with a different style of UI of its own. The overall UI and look and feel of the smartphone feels decent enough. It's somewhat close enough to the stock UI. But still a little bit different. And let us just see what's inside the hood. Under the hood the smartphone has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 chipset clocked in at 1.50 GHz. This is somewhat clocked in at a less clock speed so that makes for a great experience because of the fact that this will not overheat as was seen on many phones like the Xiaomi Mi 4i etc. So it's an octa core processor which has two quad core different processors and it comes with 10.95 GB of available internal storage and the total storage is 16 gigabytes out of which some is used by Android operating system and it comes with 2 gigabytes of RAM and a screen density of 441 ppi wherein it has a 1920 into 1080p display. The device comes with Android 5.0.2 out of the box and let us just move forward and we will test more things about the smartphone. Now it's time to test the benchmarks on the smartphone so we will start off with the Antutu benchmark. The device scored around 28,837 on the Antutu benchmark which is decent for a budget smartphone like this. It scored 59.1 frames per second on the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. It scored 632 on the single core and 1876 on the multi core score for the Geekbench 3 benchmark. The device scored 16,000 on the Quadrant Standard benchmark which is not that great score but still it's above average. The camera on this device is a 13 megapixel back camera and an 8 megapixel front camera. It comes with various modes like the auto mode, HDR mode, panorama mode, manual mode wherein you can select the focus and exposure manually, time lapse videos for creating time lapse videos and face beauty mode for easing out your pimples etc. We took quite a few photos and as is visible over here, the photograph that we took, the selfie that we took, it, it is from the 8 megapixel camera. The clarity is really great because of the fact that more megapixel also does mean sometimes a better quality and the sensor is also decent enough so 
every detail is clear in this selfie and moving forward we took this photograph from the back camera the color reproduction is really great because of the fact that the actual colors that we could see from the eyes the pictures are really close to that color there is no over exaggeration of colors even the objects which are in the far background are okay enough as is visible it takes a little time to dissolve so here you can see the clarity is really great the background building is also visible and the text written over there is also visible to some extent and this is a macro shot of a coin that we took and the overall clarity in this shot is really great so that tells us that the camera on this device is really great and let us just move forward and we will test few games also on this device gaming on this device was a decent experience while playing small games like this or while playing heavy games like this When it comes to sound playback, the audio quality is decent enough as can be heard right now. The speaker is on the bottom side, bottom right side. These are not two stereo speakers, just a mono speaker over here. But sound is clear enough even when you keep it on a flat surface like this. So that's a good thing. Playing a 4K HD video on this device is fairly easy. So let us just begin this. But the audio did go away at some points. So as you can see the audio does go away at some points. But this means that the smartphone can't handle that much playback. So at best it's an average smartphone in terms of performance. There were occasional hiccups only while playing the heaviest of the heaviest games. But all in all in day to day usage we found almost no problems anywhere. And it did run nicely and over time the TCL stream learns more about you and gives you really great recommendations about everything in news as well as everything in terms of wallpapers and additional content that you might like just like the Google Now launcher. The device has a 3050mAh lithium ion polymer battery which easily lasts you throughout the day and it comes with Android L out of the box and is expandable up to 128GB of storage. It's a very decent effort from a new company to make a great device and in case if you are out to buy a new smartphone in the price range of 10,000 rupees or so, this choice might not hurt you. So guys this was all for our TCL Pride review and unboxing. If you like this video then don't forget to hit like on this video and do subscribe to our channel. This is Aitana Jha from InspireToRise.com folks signing off. Mm -hmm.